So I'm sitting down, putting my shoes on, and it dawns on me that I've been walking around all morning with a hole in the heel of my sock. Do you ever have moments where you realize the stories that you've been telling yourself in your head? Like you actually realize them that like you're an outsider looking in, seeing these stories just replaying in your mind. Well, that just happened to me. I'm going to put on my shoe and I'm about to put my shoe on with this sock with the giant hole in the heel. And it dawns on me that I have other socks that I can wear. I don't have to wear a sock with a giant hole in the heel. All morning long, I've been telling myself, and I just realized this, like I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't conscious that this story was playing. But all morning long, since I put on the sock and realized I had a hole in it, I've been saying to myself, you know, just wear the sock and it's fine. Like, so what? You'll wear a sock all day with a hole in it and it'll be uncomfortable, but you can handle it. It's like, these are fine. These will work. They'll cover most of your foot. So just keep, just whatever, just wear the sock. So I've had these socks for like three years. That's, is that kind of gross? Cause I feel like it, it kind of is. When I say it out loud, I'm like, ew. I paid like $5 maybe for these socks, this pair of socks. So they're actually not very nice, relatively speaking. I mean, to a lot of people, they are very nice. To me, when I bought them, they were nice socks. So, but I have other socks that are also three years old and I bought at the same time as these socks, but they don't have holes in them. So I can just wear those socks. I don't have to endure a giant hole in my sock all day long just to prove to myself that I can handle it. It inspired me to record this because I'm making the decision to take these socks off and throw them away. Like I'm grateful for them. They've served me really well for three years and now it's time I move on. I absolutely deserve to have comfortable socks that don't have holes in them and so do you. There's a difference between pushing through uncomfort to get to a better place and I absolutely respect that type of uncomfort and strive for that uncomfort and I have almost my whole life but there are boundaries <laughs> and suffering for no apparent reason does no one good. My feet, you are beautiful and you, I want really good quality socks to help keep you comfortable and happy. I'm throwing these socks away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you with me. Socks, you're going in the garbage. I love you and you're gonna transmute into something beautiful. And so that's your first step in that process. I have other socks, yes, this is my this is my drawer that maybe I should be keeping private, but oh well for now. Look, these socks. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. You see that? It's another hole forming. Take three. <laughs> these socks. So all these socks, like I bought at the same time, clearly I prefer others some over others because these don't seem to have holes in them. So I'm gonna go for these. Here we go, you all. This is what reprogramming looks like. People think, so many people think right now that eating mushrooms um, equals instant reprogramming and like miracle changes overnight. And although 
the mushroom experience is extremely powerful and it can be one of the most powerful experiences that people have in their entire lives, like next to childbirth and the loss of a loved one. Um, change happens gradually. And this is my example to you all that, you know, I am reprogramming every single day. Every single day we have the opportunity for choosing a new story, even if it's as simple as my feet. I love my feet. I want my feet to be warm. I have the ability to keep my feet warm and happy. And so I'm going to choose that path right now in this moment today. And that can make big waves. It's making big waves for me right now. I mean, that was kind of challenging throwing away my socks. Like it's hard for me to throw away clothes and I probably could have mended those socks. <sighs> Um, but, you know, I also have really big things to do in this world and I can't spend, I have to make decisions quickly, often. Do I throw away the socks or do I set the socks aside and spend time mending the socks, uh, which would require a whole process of events for me. And in the past, I probably would have set the socks in the basement by the sewing machine and it would have eaten away at me like you need to mend your socks you need to mend your socks and it would have taken away energy that would really be better suited for me and where i'm at in my life to focus it on things that are really bringing joy like the church helping that get more organized helping organize sacrament services for members of the church helping organize integration sessions for members of the church talking to you all and sharing the story, which could help you all awaken, maybe not in this moment, but maybe tomorrow or a week from now, a little story that you're telling yourself. So I'm waking up to that and I'm so grateful to be able to share it with you all. And I'm grateful for the ability to choose my adventure and choose my story in every single moment. Um, so thank you for being a part of my big sock journey today. <laughs>